the blue team are attacking. So if the ball went out here to the number three and the number five won the ball back in their attacking third of the pitch and then either went on to score or passed to the number four who then scored. Hello, my name is Chris Lowe and I'm the Regional Coach Development Officer and FAP Officer for the West Midlands. The session is called Defend for Glory. We're going to be looking at the intercepting skills, especially in relation to scanning uh, and movement and technique. I think we want to develop our grassroots players' ability to win the ball high up the pitch to set up an attacking move. So the setup here is, is using the, the full pitch, but this can easily work on a third or a quarter of a, an AstroTurf pitch. We've got four versus four plus goalkeepers. And if you notice as well on the pitch, I've split it up into uh, three thirds. There is lines marked on the pitch, but also we could identify this area with the use of cones on the outside or flat spots. So how I would explain this session to my players is that if they win the ball back in the opposition's defensive third and then go on to score a goal, it is worth three. If they win the ball in the middle third, it is worth two. And if they win the ball back in their defensive third, it's only worth one. So this should naturally encourage the players to push up the field and win the ball back either through that press or by that intercepting skill. So in this example here, the blue team are attacking. So if the ball went out here to the number three and the number five won the ball back in their attacking third of the pitch and then either went on to score or passed to the number four who then scored, because they've won the ball back in their, their attacking third, they've got the value of three goals. In this example, uh, the yellows are currently on the ball in the, in the middle of the pitch. Now, number four has used his intercepting skills to receive the pass from number five to, to number four. So now that he is in possession of the ball in the middle third, number four can then make the pass into number three, who then may, hopefully, will go on to score. And if they do, because they won it back in the middle third, it is now worth two and therefore celebrating the fact that number four used intercepting skills in the middle third of the pitch to set up an attack to score. In this example, uh, the blue team hopefully will be about to intercept the ball in their own defensive third. So number five has currently got the ball and if he's looking to play to play a four and the blue intercepts the ball, if they now go up the pitch and score a goal, because they've won it in their defensive third, it is now only worth one point. So one progression of this game is that you could flip the game. So here we're looking at players intercepting the ball in their own defensive third and offering incentives for them to sit nice and deep in a, in a low block formation. And if they intercept the ball here and then go on to score, it is now worth three for their team. Obviously in this session we are promoting intercepting, but if any player tackles and receives the ball through a tackle, then the same values, uh, the same values stand. 